Good evening and welcome back. Well, it's another um, Friday night outing for me and tonight it's pizza night. You've just seen me the video there, um, uh, made a, a pizza in the old Dutch oven at the moment. I've got some rolls for tomorrow morning when Sandy's going to come up and going to have uh, bacon and halloumi rolls. So tonight I'll be sleeping under a tarp. I will be on the floor um, on a roll mat with a Gore-Tex baby bag. I will have my thermal rest in there just for a wee bit of experience. I'm sort of in the boundaries of Wiltshire and Dorset yet again. Uh, and it's been a cracking experience. Got a rather large herded deer come storming through and there was three white ones in it. I tried to capture it in the video. I think I may have caught it in the video, but I think the light may have been uh, quite bad. Yeah, so Friday night making pizza. I've got a, a little bottle of um, Lily's Cherry and Berry. Is it Cherry and Berry? Yeah, Cherry and Berry. Made in good old Somerset. Yeah, so check in later on. Um, and, sorry, I'll check in in the morning. I'll give you a little tour of how my sleep was and where I slept uh, when we get there. And hopefully, minus three, the, the, it won't be that cold. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to enjoy my pizza. Which is really rather nice, if I do say so myself. And I'll check in in the morning. Right, that's me all settled in for the night um, underneath the old tarp. It's quite close to the head here, just hoping I'm not going to get much condensation. Uh, I did buy a large uh, second hand baby bag. Oh, second hand, it looks like it's about 15 hands uh, with all the names that has been in it. It's an extra military one. Of course, everybody puts their name and number in it. Uh, it's quite interesting when you see how many people have had this uh, baby bag at one point. I've got my them arrest inside the actual baby bag which is restricted movement slightly. Uh, I've got my Rab uh, sleeping bag which is rated comfort rating minus 12 so I can't see having any issues with it so it should be absolutely fine. Uh, so be up tomorrow morning as soon as it's daylight get a little fire on cup of tea uh, Sandra should turn up and then oh have those rolls that I made last thing uh, and bacon and halloumi cheese but it looks it and some brown sauce obviously and another Friday night ticked off uh, this year in the woods and we we're going to plan to go up to Snowdon but we checked the webcams up there and it didn't look that great uh, so we're going to try and get a weekend up there I've got a week coming up uh, the end of February and uh, if you've got any suggestions of what I should get up to, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, there's not many hikes I can do that time of year. I'm still planning to do the Wainwright Coast to Coast in May, end of May. But in February I've got a week's holiday and I am open to suggestions. If you want to see a wild camp, if you want to see me trying to cook something that I've never cooked before, which most of the stuff is, um, hot tent or whatever, uh, just Put it in the comments below. Uh, that would be much appreciated. Not that we're running out of ideas, but I've got some some ideas. But uh, it's very difficult to plan stuff and put it all together, especially with the weather and how quickly it's changing. I'm going to sign off now, and I'll speak to you again in the morning. Right, a wee bit of frost, and this is what happens when you're cooking at night. A little burn that we'll have to repair. Right, let's have a wee look at the setup that I had last night. So, tons of room in the tarp itself. You easily get two people in. It's really cold this morning, as my nose is running. So, I had these, this. Um, as a backup, I had this, the one Tigris um, little quilt thing. 
Uh, it's a feather down quilt. It's got some studs up there that you can actually wrap it around your neck and wear it as a poncho if you're sitting around the fire. Uh, uh, the standard um, army surplus bivvy bag. And inside that I had my Rab Neutrino 600 sleeping bag, which is usually quite good, but last night there was a couple of cold spots in it I could feel in my legs. So I'll have a look at that when I go back. And we do unpack this and put it into its um, large sack and we hang it up in the airing cupboard, but I did feel it on the side of my legs a couple of times. Um, Thermarest Neo Air. Too big for this, as you can see, it's all squared out, but it does the trick. And then underneath I had a little thin rubber roll mat, I think. Not that one there, I think actually, is an exercise one. But it worked really well, so I was quite toasty last night. Um, did get me a bit chilly in the face when the wind changed, but uh, apart from that, yeah, it was snug. As ever, leave no trace.
Right, that's our, um, my little Friday night adventure finished. Really enjoyed the pizzas. Uh, I was very surprised that the um, that the dough we made rose. As you see the pictures, uh, the images of the um, the yeast that did go really well. Yeah, so that was a a first for for me to make that, especially in such cold conditions as well. Uh, the tarp lying on the floor again takes me back to those old days in the military where you had to sleep wherever you were told. Um, yeah, so it was a great, great little adventure. Uh, for the next ones, don't know what we're going to do next. We've got that week off, so we're hoping that some of our viewers will um, put in the comments with, with some ideas that we could get up to. Uh, at the end of February, we'll probably do a couple more wild camps in between that, so I'm going to try and get out most Fridays. That seems to be my pattern for my day off, so when I'm not on a, a weekend off, I'll try and drag Sandra out. But again, it is getting really difficult to find different locations, because if you start going to the same locations, uh, people will start uh, noticing sort of thing, and I think the whole point of the wild camping is getting in there, having a night out, in the wild and then uh, getting away without anybody noticing yeah so cracking me night i was really pleased even with the minus temperatures i was close to underneath the poncho underneath the poncho the tarp sorry um yeah so we're looking forward to our next one so get the comments in below and uh we'll look into it and we'll pin the best one to the top and that'll be what we do for the five days so if you're going to pick a hike somewhere just bear in mind the weather guys we are not experts by any uh, any shape but if you get a, a walk i've already found a walk down here that i didn't know about which is the, uh, the hardy trail which is about it's over 200 miles long quite a big one it's from pool up to shaftesbury uh, all the way around back down to Bridport, Weymouth and then way back to Poole. It's just one big circle. So I'm going to look at that anyway. I uh, don't think I can do it in a week. But again, if you've got any suggestions, feel free to um, put them in the comments. And then we'll go for there. Bit of milestone, 300. That's us 300 subscribers now, which is uh, fantastic. I don't know how many are real and how many are bots, but there we go. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's great to have a bit of following, so please like and subscribe if you like this, uh, well these videos that we're doing. And uh, we'll check in next time. Take care everyone.